Hello children, welcome back to my channel. Hope everyone is doing very good. So in today's story, the name of the story is The Quail King and the Hunter. This is the story of the quail birds, the flock of birds. And we will see at the end that what are the disadvantages, what are the disadvantages and the consequences that we might face when we are not united. So stay, stay with me till the end and enjoy the story. Read till the end so that you can learn something good from today's story. Okay. So once upon a time, there was a quail king who reigned over a flock of thousand quails. There was also a very clever quail hunter who knew how to make a quail call that sounded so real that it never failed to attract other quails. Then he caught them and sold them to make a living. So once... There were a flock of quail birds and they had a quail king as their leader. On the other hand, there was a very clever hunter who made the sounds like quail and hunted them on a regular basis and earned money by selling the quails. The quail king was highly respected by all as he always considered the safety of his flock first. While on the lookout for danger, one day he came across the hunter and saw what he did. The quail king was very respected by all the members because his first and foremost concern was the safety of the flock. He looked after the safety of the quail birds. So he was looking out that what was the danger, why the birds are being caught on a regular basis. He found out that a quail hunter made sound like the quail birds and attract them and catch them. Okay, so next see this is the picture. He is making sound and he is trying to attract the quail birds and the king is noticing the things that what was the problem. He, was try he is trying to find out the thing that how the hunter caught the quail birds. Next, see the king is explaining something to the members. Let's read. The quail king called together his flock of quails. He said, Dear quails, we are in great danger. Many of our fox are being trapped and sold by a clever hunter. Then they are being killed and eaten. I have come up with a plan to save us all. The quail king then called the flock together and said that we are in great danger and we are being trapped by a very clever hunter and our birds are being killed and eaten. So I have a plan which can save us all. When the hunter covers us with his net, every single of us must raise his neck at the same time. Then all together we should fly away with the net and drop it on a thorn bush. That will keep him busy and will give us a chance to escape and save our lives. All agreed to follow the plan. So now the quail king called the members and said that see I have a plan as the hunter caught the quail on a regular basis what we need to do when he will make the call or when he will try to catch when he will throw the net we will raise our neck and we will fly away together 
and we will what the next thing what we will do we will drop the net on a thorn bush so what will happen then this will keep the hunter busy and we will have a chance to escape and save our lives as he will remain busy in untangling and uh, the net from the thorn at that very moment we will fly away all agreed to follow the plan and all, every member of the group agreed that yes we will do it the next day when the hunter lured the quails with his quail call and threw his net over them they raised their necks at once flew away with the net and dropped it on a thorn bush so the ne very next day as instructed by their leader when the hunter made the quail call and tried to attract them they flew together and threw the net over the thorn bush the hunter could not catch an equal in addition it took him the rest of the day to loosen his net from the thorns so the hunter could not catch any of them and the he spent most of the time in loosening the net from the thorns so he had no time left to try again the same thing happened on the following day so as he was trying to catch the quails the same thing happened and he failed every time he arrived home only to be greeted by his wife's sharp tongue he she complained you used to bring home quail to eat and money from selling quails now you return empty handed what you what do you uh, do all day you must have another wife somewhere who is feasting on quail meat at this very moment so he arrived home empty handed and he uh, his wife scolded him every day that previously you used to bring quails and you uh, the, uh, you used to sell them and we get we got money from that but now you are returning empty handed so you must be um, giving the quail to your another wife and she must be enjoying the quail feast now so she, uh, his wife was very angry as the han hunter was not bringing the quail see this picture how the a uh, net got stuck to the thorn and the birds are flying away see the picture the wife of the hunter is uh, arguing with him scolding him for not bringing the quails to home and not uh, selling them in the market to get some money the hunter replied don't think such things my darling the quails have become unified they act as one and raise their necks and carry my net to a thorn bush but i know one day they will argue as relatives usually do while they are occupied in conflict and bickering i will trap them and bring them to you then you will be pleased with me again until then be patient but he had to put up with his wife complaints for several more days so the hunter tried to explain that i i am um, not able to catch the birds right now because all of them are united and every day, day they are carrying my net to the thorn bush and um when i am busy in uh, loosening the uh, net from the thorn they are flying away but he also said that one day they will quarrel they will fight among themselves and that day i will trap them and bring the quail to you for the time being be patient okay 
so the hunter knew that now as they are united now it's being impossible for him to catch the birds but he was waiting for the day when they were quarrel and they they will not be united then one morning what happened after being lured by the quail call it just so happened that one quail accidentally stepped on the head of another he instantly got angry and shouted at her she removed her foot from his head and apologized so one day what happened one of the quail stepped on another quail's head by mistake and the other the one whose head got hurt got instantly angry and shouted at her that is the other quail she removed her foot from his head and apologized but she immediately removed the foot and said sorry to the bird but he would not listen and as the conflict got worse quail king advised there is no advantage in conflict continuing it will lead to danger but they will they did not listen the quail king said that if you fight among yourselves we will be in danger but the uh, they did not listen to the advice of the quail king they kept start uh, they kept quarreling among themselves and fighting among themselves quail king thought i am afraid this silly conflict will keep them from cooperating to raise the net so he commanded all the others should escape the flock flew away at once so he was also afraid that if they quarrel like this among themselves so when the hunter will come and throw the net they will not be cooperating to raise the net and so he said to the other members that rest of you might escape and so the flock flew away at once no and they were not with them any more the who, uh, with whom the birds who were fighting among themselves the flock separated from them now see what will happen to these two birds taking the advantage taking advantage of the situation the hunter threw his net over the fighting quails grabbed them stuffed them in his basket and took them home to his wife she was overjoyed and that evening the husband and wife enjoyed a big quail feast with their friends so what happened next the hunter took the advantage of this situation threw the net over whom over the fighting quails caught them in a basket and took home took them home to his wife she was very happy to see that his husband has brought two quails and they enjoyed a quail feast together and called all other friends also for the feast see the hunter brought two quails to please his wife so see children this is a very interesting story and we all have learned something from this story what we have learned there is safety in unity and danger in conflict so if we are united we are in a safe position and at the moment we start conflicting conflicting among ourselves that we divide um uh from the group we get separated from the group we are calling the danger towards us we will there uh, the uh, chances of facing the danger increases a lot so this is the thing which we have learned we all know that united we stand divided we fall 
right we have also read one story the uh, farmer and his sons okay if you um, haven't watched the video you can go watch that video also which also teaches us the same moral that when we are united our power increases but at the moment we are separated some outside power overpowers us and destroy us okay i will share the link of that story also in the description box you can go ahead and check so that's all for children today and so have a great day ahead and enjoy your day thank you